It's challenging. Don't ever say, oh, well, I'm going to, you know, I, I'm not going to have any kids, you know, until, you know, I graduate college. That, that's cute, right? It's like, oh, you got your little plans, right? Till you graduate college, until you have enough money, until Donald Trump wins the election so that the world's going to be a better place, right? No, it's because stop. It only comes from, by the father, okay? Now, I'm not saying to go out and get pregnant. I'm not saying that. But if you happen to have a child... And I may, be, I may be speaking to somebody right now. Because the Lord just showed me somebody. Somebody found out that they were pregnant. And you were devastated. Oh, dear. Oh, beloved. Oh, you precious daughter. You don't need to be devastated. You have just received a blessing from the Father. And you will not terminate that pregnancy. You will not terminate that pregnancy. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And the world's trying to pressure you. God bless you, my baby. Thank you. The world's trying to pressure you to terminate that baby. Don't know. No, no, you will not. God will not allow you. You know why he won't allow you? Because he knows what's good for you. He's going to take care of you. He's going to take care of that baby. This is a word for somebody. I don't know who you are, but God knows who you are. He knows who you are. I think it's more than one because the Lord just showed me. It's more than one lady. It's more than one lady. One's a younger lady. And one's an older lady. Both got pregnant. And you're devastated. You, you are devastated. You did not expect to have a baby. For whatever reason. There's a number of reasons. And you, you're seriously, you were thinking about terminating that pregnancy. You will not in Jesus' name. God gave you that life for a reason. Now, I'm not saying I, I, how the baby was produced may have even been in sin. I don't know. But the Lord knows what he's doing even in the midst of what seems to be a, you know, sin. Sin is death, right? Sin, and you know, in a way, it's 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 ungodly. It's I mean, not in a way it is ungodly, but in a way, it's death. That actually, well, it says the wages of sin is death. That's what it says in the Book of Romans. But even, the, you know, what God likes to do that I've noticed, God likes to bring forth resurrection life when something is dead, and He has brought life. He's brought life. In the midst of a situation that you did not expect, be in peace. He will take care of you and that baby, and all will be well in Jesus' name. Praise be to God. Amen. We just lost Facebook. I need to get Facebook back up. Facebook! I'm on the way. Hold on. We got to get Facebook. We lost Facebook. That word was... Uh, that was that word also was... I say this. It was more for Facebook, too. I need to make sure I say the word. Facebook, we're back! Where'd you go? We're here. We're live on air. Praise God. Listen, I was talking about a word. We got, I have headlines. We're about to get into the headlines right now. But somebody, it, now this is a, a word for somebody very specific, a woman. There, there's two women that the Lord showed me. And it's an older woman and it's a younger lady. And you found out you're pregnant and you're devastated. You're devastated. You, 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 are ser you were seriously thinking about terminating that pregnancy. And God says you will not. You will not terminate that pregnancy. He will take care of you and that baby. He knows how the baby came about. It may not it may not have been in a righteous way. It may have been in sin. For one of the ladies, it may have been it could have been for both of the ladies. Could have been for both of the ladies, may have been in sin. That you ended up getting pregnant because you were doing some kind of sinful deed or action. I, I, that's what the you know, if that but the Lord knows what he's doing. Even in the midst of death, he brings forth resurrection life. And he purposely allowed life to form. Not for you to terminate it. You're not God. You're not supposed to be terminating any life. He brought life in the midst of that situation to show forth that he loves you. And that he knows what he's doing even in the midst of death. He's bringing forth life. Now you honor the Lord. You trust him. He'll sustain you. He'll sustain that baby. He'll, he'll, he'll bring substance. He'll bring is that, that now did I say that word right? Substance, Lord? Substance? Substance? He's gonna provide for you. He's gonna be your providence. He's literally gonna take care of you and that baby. But you will not terminate that pregnancy. This is a word for somebody. The Lord just showed me that so clear. You were devastated. You were devastated. You did not, you were saying, Oh my no, there's no way. you you were crying. You you felt like you were in a fog. It was so surreal when you saw the, you know, when you found out you were pregnant, the, the positive test. Came forth positive, and you're tripping out. You do not know what to do. Jesus knows what he's doing through you now. You let him. 
You will not terminate that child in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not. The Lord knows what he's doing. He's going to take good care of you. Now, you, you receive this word and say, Lord, I hear you. And lead me. I surrender. You tell Jesus now. Say, Jesus, I'm surrendering to your will. I'm going to tell you something. Whether you surrender to his will or not, you will not terminate that pregnancy because Jesus said he's keeping that baby. He knows what he's doing, even in the midst of, 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 of you know, situations that involve the sin. He knows what he's doing. But you need to surrender your life to him. You need to allow him to take over. He loves you. You're, he's not mad at you. That's not punishment. That baby's not punishment. I, please, live stream, hang out with me, YouTube, hold on. I'm talking to somebody on Facebook, very specific here. I, that, that, that was not punishment. That baby, you finding out you were pregnant, was not punishment. <laughs> Okay? That may feel like a punishment. may feel like you did something wrong, which you probably did. I don't know. You think you're not prepared and all that stuff? Hey, you're probably not, but God will get you prepared. He'll take care of you and the baby. And you're, you're, you're going to be a woman that he is desiring to grow you into. Because you, 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 you were playing little girl games. And I'm talking even now to an older lady. Because there's two women. At least, that the Lord showed me, one younger and one older, to find out you're pregnant and you're devastated. God's going to develop you into a woman of God that he's called you to be through that baby. Watch. To terminate, to, you, you know, ever terminate life. You're not God. N none of us are. None of us are. But you could even see it that to terminate that child would be to terminate the future that God has for you. To grow you up to be a fearless woman of God that he's called you to be. Surprisingly, it's going to be through that child you'll see in Jesus' name. All right, I got to move on. Breaking news. Breaking news. This is Evangelist Anita Fuentes. And I am Pastor Ignacio Fuentes. And we are the founders and producers of Emoaf Church and Open Your Eyes People Broadcast. Our broadcast brings the latest in breaking world news headlines matching Bible prophecy. We've been honored to bring millions around the world the urgent message of the hour we are living in, according to Bible prophecy, by using real-time headlines to awake the masses and bring them to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Our broadcast has grown so substantially that our current home studio office no longer fits the massive growth our ministry is expanding to. We are raising desperately needed funds to help launch an official Open Your Eyes People studio at EMOF Church location. This cost will help us to start to purchase the following. A leased space and actual location building. Studio grade camera equipment including camera control systems. Studio grade lighting. Projectors and TV screens. Audio converters, interfaces, playback and recorders, microphones and speakers, grade mixers and switchers, dedicated seamless and professional grade live streaming services, and most importantly, foreign language translation on multiple platforms and airtime on radio, television, internet, satellite, cable, and much, much more. Now we need your help. The message we bring is urgent. Not enough souls are being reached through our current channel formats. We are calling on donors at every level to help make it happen. We must be straight with you. Without your financial support, many will perish in these last days. Making this broadcasting studio church and purchasing the airtime on these platforms costs so much. And we're believing that in the midst of the precious donors who could give, that there will be a few of you that will step up and make a thousand dollar donation or more. Put your hand to the plow right along with ours and help us reap this end time harvest of souls together. In, In Jesus, Jesus name, name amen. amen. The only way, the only way that your name is going to be written in the Lamb's book of life is if you've confessed Jesus Christ as Lord. That you believe in your heart that He was raised from the dead. That He was born through the Virgin Mary. He walked this earth for 33 full years. The last three years of his life, he fulfilled the ministry that the Father commended unto him to do. And that ministry was this, to take upon himself the sin of the world, your sin and mine. You gotta receive this message. You gotta receive the, 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 the message of Jesus Christ, the message of the cross. You gotta receive God. You gotta receive his spirit. Cause that's the only thing, that's the only one that's gonna save you. The Holy Spirit is a person. He's going to save you from hell. He's going to save you from the pit of hell.
please take a moment to go ahead and place a donation on our GoFundMe link page. If you'd rather place a donation via the Postal Service, if you'd rather send it in through the mail, here's our mailing address. P.O. Box 9570, Rancho Cucamonga, California, 91701. We thank you in advance, and we pray that God richly bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Open your eyes, people. With evangelist Anita Fuentes, bringing you breaking world news, magic Bible prophecy, all the latest headlines confirming the hour in which we are living. Tune in every Tuesday morning at 5:30 a.m. World Harvest Time.